sandpaper, take sharp objects to your camera? That's on today's show. Hey there folks, welcome back to the Photo Video Show where we explore all things photography. And on today's program, I want to give you guys a tip on how you can use your Yong Nuo flashes and triggers on your Sony a6000. There's been quite a bit of controversy on the hot shoe design, and I tend to agree. Yeah, for some crazy reason, Sony decided to paint the hot shoe of the a6000. Dumb move, I know. But what are we supposed to do? Buy a Nikon? <laughs> We've got to get this thing figured out. I bought two of the Young Nuo flashes and this trigger. So far, I'm having zero issues, but I'm gonna show you guys what tips and tricks I picked up along the way in making sure that I made the correct decision. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. Well, as you can see, the Sony A6000 hot shoe is completely painted except for the middle connection point. And you can see these little tabs up underneath the holders for your flash. Those are the things that need to make connection with your flash connection point. So because I don't feel like they stick up enough, grab something that you can wedge the little tines with and crank those suckers up. Just give them a little twist, a little thing, a little such, a little whatnot, and it should raise the points so that they can make better contact with your flash. Don't be afraid to get in there and kind of root around, do a little damage. It's not really gonna hurt anything. And as far as I know, this doesn't void the warranty at all. Of course, I'm not gonna tell if you don't. So I'm an ex-Nikon user, happened to have one of my cheapy triggers laying around, wanted to check what the connection pins look like. Then I compared that with the Young Nuo trigger. They match up perfectly. But when you put them on the camera, you'll notice the two little pins stick out the back of the camera. And as far as I can tell, it makes no difference. So once I get it locked down, I adjust my settings and give this thing a test. Go ahead and hit this trigger. Bam! Worked perfectly. Try it again. Bam! Worked again. So I also know that there are some people out there that were saying that they were going to use sandpaper to scuff up and get the paint off of those little connection uh, points underneath your flash holder. I'm not actually going to do this. I'm just using my business card uh, as an illustration. So far, I haven't needed to do it, but I have heard other people having success using this method. And while I do realize that some people are having a problem actually using their young new old flashes directly on the body of the E6000, don't you think that kind of defeats the purpose of having such a small camera in the first place? So just let me be the first to say that I never put my flashes on my camera anyway. I absolutely can't stand on camera flash at all. I just think it's ugly and most people seem to agree, but to each their own. If you really want an onboard Sony flash, I would suggest just going ahead and grabbing a Sony flash. So there you have it, and there you go, folks. Another mystery solved right here on the Photo Video Show. So thanks again for stopping by right here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share that mofro, or go ahead, drop me a subscription. That would be gangsta. At any rate, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mark Puckett, and I'll see you guys again on the next one.